I skipped this delicious soul. Uh, uh, my eyes just jumped to Clayton because I thought Clayton would be a good closer for the first half. I'm just glad that I did because I adore this woman's work. And she's a powerhouse and she, the future is ahead of her and for us. I, I adore her work, hands down. Um, some of you know her as Colleen. Some of you know her as Colette. And some of you know her, yo, Gavin! This is Colleen Colette Cavanaugh, known as Colette to her most intimate family, which we are, so she will be remembered as Colette. Gracious, my love. Put your seatbelts on. broken in baskets, trees of apples and oranges, scraped up with spatulas, always night, always silent. Later, streets are full of limbs, starving lions rummaging inside the ribcage, carrying lantern to light the courage to empty out the black hole river, a knife to scrape the hope from wounds leaving holes for the bats to enter, where voice dwindles in the roar of hurricanes. At the Bowery mission, they dole out rubber chicken to cast the nouns out of hunger, where white men with yellow eyes, black men with round faces, an arm in each sleeve, it's lonely in a sweater. This one is called Reading of the Vagina. <laughs> if a man can only show vulnerability for what is between female legs, licking his mouth of dinner's parsley, expecting a woman to suck the rain from armpits of his testicles, if he can only be a heart during sex, if an orgasm is the only way he can weep, what is his life? but a cage. <laughs> this one is called, I shall assume other identities other than I. I was clothed in a broken world until I rubbed the fabric of pen and paper across the outline of my soul to dare to have so much to lose, to write, to feast, to bread, where movement of words suggests to the consciousness that this life is not a church, invoking for the first time a sense of who I am, in poverty and in shame. I hopped a train out, I learned to think, where only a bland, blind man reads in the dark of a forest. I wrote my name on every wet space of life, my notebooks in language of trees, Poetry becomes because it becomes a mind moving, which names me in natural recurrence of dreams. Before I began clothing myself in layers of words, my leathered hide was too weak to drink the ink of pen, slipping under the cedar, moving myself half in, half out of frayed paper, with legs which have hauled me a million miles from home, between bricks of separate aches and secrets, fading from the flesh which ignites the call of my night, broken from the womb. I am witness to the scorn, the thousand ways I know the rifts of my own pelvis, in the alcove of my own pages. My ink spilled, runneth over, in a broken world of Starbuck cups and Catholicism, where coffins aligned in velvet and burned to ashes the taking of our beautiful minds. I am clothed and naked in this broken world. I no longer watch TV, 
I no longer own a television. I own a uterus. I watch the sky. This is called Rhetoric of Snow. We were not winter, all dark and thick, when the cold dark came. We were limbs harbored in weak spines, lifting ourselves by our own grass, monuments of grief, clutching hold red roof of churches. How easily you owned your face, your fear, the tears, the black throat of sundown through soiled eyes. Every evening the ocean, every tide pulling at our mouths, closing eyes on our last night of ice cold. No knife to cut, no table to serve, rain which fell on misty leaves, and all which can console the soil left in our hands. The lowell of tongue, beautiful and broken. We were not winter, all dark and thick. We were expensive cheese left for another unfolding spring. The last two are just short little haikus. This is called self-evasing of the hummingbird. The hummingbird is the conscious left on branch, I'm sorry, the hummingbird is the conscious left on branch of tree, the dictative of whisper of humanity, calling its will, silence of the forgotten. The hummingbird is the conscious left on branch of tree, the dictative whisper of humanity, calling its will, silence of the forgotten. This one is called Decay. If a poem can be a little messy, like a pile of trash, we can then eat it as a peach, have imaginary conversation with the pear, dissect the sexuality of the fig, watch the banana peel rot in starvation. If a poem can be a little messy, like a pile of trash, we can then eat it as a peach, have, imagina have imaginary conversation with the pear, dissect the sexuality of the fig, watch the banana peel rot in starvation.